Semi-final Saturday at Queen's Club and in a microcosm of the ATP season so far, this final four was anything but predictable, with three having not been broken up to this point in the tournament. Two of those men met in the first semi-final as Marin Cilic took on Gilles Muller. The early stages were sticking very much true to form. Oh, it's just textbook tennis. I mean, that is serve volleying at its very, very best from Muller. But when the 2012 champion Cilic sensed an opportunity to break the world number 26 for the first time in the week, he pounced upon it. Gave him a target and he get it. Cilic celebrates. From there on in set one, Cilic remained imperious on serve. Oh, that's good. Really intelligent play by Cilic. Into the second, once again, the fourth seed was carving out opportunities to break. Oh, how good is that? Very. But none of them were converted and Muller was keeping pace in the set. Oh, so secure, under some pressure. It was the Luxemburger that looked more likely for the all-important break at the death, as this match looked to be heading to a decider. Wow. In the third, once again, the early stages promised a long set. Oh, that's a nice bit of skill. But the 2012 champion continued to press the Muller serve, and it looked like he might reap the rewards. Oh, great play, both players, and so patient from Cilic. With a single break, Cilic was able to serve out to be the first man through to the final. Game seven. Clean ace on the second serve. What a way to seal it. And Marin Cilic has got the job done. In a repeat of the 2014 final, Grigor Dimitrov took on Feliciano Lopez in semi number two. Lopez, the beaten man that day, was starting the brighter here. Oh, look at that, that's outrageous. But Dimitrov had been nothing if not tenacious at this year's Acon Championships. The Bulgarian was keeping the set competitive. Oh, clean winner, both players really on top of their game at the moment. But as the opener looked to be going to a decider, the veteran Spaniard had other ideas. There it is, he's got it. This time it was the right decision to come in behind. With Lopez a set up and after a lengthy rain delay, it was the reinvigorated Dimitrov who looked the more likely to make the breakthrough in set two. Oh, he's found the way. The six seed pulled ahead and made no mistake on serve. Finishes with a flourish. Dimitrov back in this match. Early in the decider, Dimitrov was toiling so as not to go behind. Oh, well played. Lopez did so, so well. Oh, yes. Credit to Dimitrov. But the Spanish veteran continued to force the issue on the Bulgarian serve and eventually got his reward. Finally, at the eighth opportunity in this set, Lopez strikes. Lopez backed up that break with an emphatic service game. Always oh, found the line. Goodness me. With fading light, the 35-year-old wanted to wrap this up as quickly as possible. It's long. Lopez has done it. I'm not sure we can quite believe it, but he's delighted. 35 years old, and he's through to another major final. Nobody would have picked these two finalists at the start of the 2017 Aegon Championships. Marin Cilic will go for his second title at Queen's Club, while Feliciano Lopez will contest his second final.